Get out my butt. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel. If you are just stopping on this channel then I hope you stick around for the long run. If you want to then you can just click the red subscribe button down below and then you'll get notified of all my future uploads. Today we are doing a good old foundation review which I actually have not done for a while and I don't know why because it's one of my favourite products to test out. Today we are testing out the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. This one is quite new and has been raved about from the likes of Tati and also just generally people seem to really love this foundation so I'm super excited to do a review for you guys. This actually comes in 30 shades which is pretty good for a drugstore foundation and they actually have quite a good range. There's different undertones and it goes pretty deep so hopefully you'll be able to find your shade in this foundation. I myself personally have the paler shade of course was new. I picked up the shade 15 porcelain. I actually picked this up from Amazon. It was $7.95 when I originally ordered it. That's quite cheap for a foundation but I have just checked and it's jumped up to $10.95 now probably because it's become so popular they'll probably be on offer in some places I know they sell it in boots look fantastic those kind of places it's pretty accessible so as far as price it kind of fluctuates between prices but I would say on average you're probably looking about 10 pounds for this foundation obviously I'm gonna be doing a full day wear test for you guys we're gonna go through swatches of other foundations so you guys can see a shade comparison and you know you have a pretty blank canvas to compare. First of all, let's get into the claims of this foundation. It's supposed to be 24 hour wear. Please don't wear your foundation for that long. <laughs> Just please don't, okay? Okay, they're making some bold claims here right now, L'Oreal. You're making some bold claims. So this is what they say. Meet L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation for full coverage, no compromise base for the ultimate resistance. With a standard in long wear coverage, it's transfer proof, life proof, party proof, and waterproof, so you'll get more from your makeup. I mean, that's a lot to claim of a foundation, you know. It has oxygen technology to give a lightweight feel, whilst the ultra stretchable formula ensures full application so a little goes a long way apparently okay so it's supposed to be transfer proof long wear full coverage with minimum amount of product does it say about the finish can't find the finish anywhere okay i can't see what finish this is actually supposed to be i know it says fresh wear but that doesn't really tell me a lot so i can't tell you we're just gonna have to experience it together see what it turns out like on my skin and yeah that is pretty much all they have to say about this foundation pretty simple <laughs> so i'm gonna stop talking your ear off and we are going to get straight into the swatches let's go Okay, so here are the swatches. So this is the L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade 15 Porcelain. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation in the shade F1. This is the Ordinary Serum Foundation in the shade 1N. This is the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 110. This is the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation in the shade 201, Classic Ivory. And then finally we have the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation in 00A porcelain. <sighs> right, let's get into this. I need to sort my face out. So I'm hoping this shade is going to look all right. <laughs> Obviously, this is a paler shade in the whole range, so I'm hoping this is going to work. I'm going to be testing this out the way that I usually would. I'm going to be using my Sports FX sponge and also my Y6 from Morphe. We're going to see which gives the best coverage and best finish. I'm excited to try this one because a lot of people like this foundation. Okay, so I'm just going to check the consistency on my glass palette here. Ooh, it's actually quite liquidy. Let's put two pumps on there. I'm gonna go in with the sponge on my left, your right. I'm just gonna kind of dot it on. It's very light. It barely feels like I'm putting anything on my face. Okay, let's blend this out. Oh, I forgot to say, I've already primed. I use my Barry M Unicorn Primer and also the Professional by Benefit. I always use primers with my foundation, so I wanna test out the foundation with products that I would usually use to give it a fair chance, you know? This is blended out beautifully and the shade is matching my face pretty well but mm, it's kind of matching my neck as well i haven't done a foundation review in so long i forgot to do my chest swatch great let's just do it quickly right now so i always match to my chest because it's lighter than my face my face has a lot of redness and stuff so i'm just gonna swatch it by here okay so you can see it's a little bit more orangey in undertone and also a little bit darker than my chest even when kind of blended out so it is a little bit dark for me but i'll be honest i find that a lot with drugstore foundations just gonna do the forehead quick okay 
Okay, so the actual finish of this is beautiful. It's just very natural. Like I don't look like I've put anything on my skin at all. I've got kind of like high low coverage. It's not quite medium. You can still see my freckles coming through but it's kind of like evened out any redness I had. It's pretty much completely dried down and it feels almost like powdery on my skin that's so strange i want to go in with another layer because it is very light obviously this was with the sponge so i may have absorbed some so i'm gonna go in with a second layer with the sponge and just see what it looks like okay so i have used up those two pumps that i put on my palette so which i guess isn't a lot of foundation but i try to use as minimal as possible so i'm gonna put two more pumps on my palette here and then go in with a brush. Doing the same over here. And let's see if I get more coverage on the side. One thing I will say is this is very fragranced. It's got a strong smell and it smells like something but I can't quite pinpoint it. I know it's a little bit streaky so I'm gonna try and buff this in a little. Okay, I feel like that looks better but I feel like it's kind of picking up a little bit in places as I'm buffing. I feel like the product is going a lot further on the brush side. The finish actually kind of looks a little bit dewier. They're pretty even in coverage and I've done obviously two layers over here with a sponge. If you want to have more impact with coverage then use a brush. The only difference that I kind of see is right underneath my eyes here. It's just a bit like streaky but obviously I'm going to be going over there with concealer so that doesn't really bother me. It's not looking the best in the middle of my forehead. I'm just going to try adding a bit more product because it might be because I haven't got enough there. It's actually looking kind of dry in between my eyebrows and I never get that. <laughs> on me, this is looking super matte, <laughs> which is weird because on everybody else that I've seen it on, it looked kind of dewy. I'm just gonna use the rest of the product that I have on my palette here because I have a little bit left over. So I'm gonna try and build up the coverage where I need it. I will say this builds very nicely. It's pretty much got rid of my freckles. My freckles by here have pretty much gone. The only thing is right in between my eyebrows by here, it's pretty dry looking. The shade looks pretty doable. Obviously I brought it down my neck and you can kind of see like a little bit of a color change, but it's not the worst. It's actually decent from, you know, the drugstore. It hasn't enhanced my pores or anything. So I'm pretty happy with this right now. The time is now at 10.35. So I'm gonna go away, do the rest of my makeup and then we'll be right back. Okay, so this is my finished face. I just did some quick basic makeup. I had no problem blending over the skin. This actually set down really nicely and it had like a powdery finish, but it didn't look powdery. My skin still looks really nice. It's not accentuating any pores. I haven't gone over this with a setting spray either. This is just the way it looks with like powder on the skin. In between my brows, it's still looking a little bit dry, but it's not terrible. The rest of my face is perfectly fine. So it's a little bit weird that it's showing dryness there. I do quite like this foundation. I'm liking the way it's looking so I'm gonna go about the rest of my day. I shall see you guys in a few hours. Hi guys <laughs> It is currently almost half past eight. <laughs> this is a bit later than what I would typically do a check-in Usually I do one around the four hour mark, but it has been a day. Okay, <laughs> I had my MOT I then got stranded. I went shopping and bought more makeup going out of the house is stressful <laughs> But anyway, let's see what this foundation is doing. Oh Actually looks all right because it's been on for what 10 hours now i'm really impressed like there's hardly any shine on my forehead usually be a lot more intense than this i've got foundations that just make my skin look like that it's kind of collected around my nose by here at some point throughout the day i wipe my nose a little so it's kind of faded kind of bunched up a little bit and obviously i'm kind of shiny on the cheek area but that is completely normal the fact this hasn't like broken up or separated is really good my skin still looks really even i think it might have faded a little bit i'm starting to see my skin come through a little bit and also my bronzer and blush have faded the dryness that was like in between my brow has obviously gone now because my oils have come through but because of the dryness it kind of went a little bit patchy it still looks better than what it did originally it hasn't sunk into fine lines or anything and I feel like it's really warmed up with my skin really nicely I just can't believe how like not shiny I am. You guys know if you watch any of my other foundation reviews I can get hella shiny <gasps> No, I'm super duper impressed. I really like the way my skin looks and I love the fact that it's still all uniform and one color and there's no redness coming through. I'm gonna continue wearing it for a few more hours. I know I've worn it for like 10 hours already but you know what the heck. I'm probably gonna wear it for maybe two to three more hours and then I'll check back in again and we'll see how it looks but 
for the most part this is pretty long wearing and it's lasted really well so yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit hey guys i'm done trying to look nice okay <laughs> so it is now what five past 12. so this has been on for 14 hours <laughs> like a ridiculously long time but at least we're testing out the 24 hour claim i guess <laughs> let's have a look at the foundation okay my concealer has kind of gone to sh it hasn't really changed that much it's just got more oily the coverage is still there though this is really impressive i really love the fact that it is very long wearing but i hate the fact like my blush and bronzer have kind of faded if it's gonna stay this long i'd like everything to stay but that's just me i'm just being picky <laughs> it's kind of come off a little bit more on my nose i have been editing so i've been leaning on my face sometimes and it hasn't come off so that would confirm the claim of it being transfer proof but yeah i'm just kind of looking oily in the usual places but i think overall this is very long lasting and it looks really good and it doesn't feel like i'm wearing anything on my skin it still feels very lightweight however looking at my skin i do feel like i might just be able to wipe it off so i'm gonna test that because i'm gonna rewash my face in a second anyway <laughs> it's the weirdest thing i don't feel like it's taken off the foundation i just feel like it's taken off the oils from it so yeah i actually really like this foundation it's very long wearing it's a decent shade match for me it hasn't oxidized and it hasn't made me go crazy oily i don't know if i mentioned this in the video which i probably should have at the beginning but i have combination to oily skin so for me to not look like a drowned rat by the end of the day is pretty cool i'm definitely going to be wearing this foundation i'm actually quite surprised because in the beginning i was kind of doubtful especially since i was looking a bit dry in the middle of my forehead oh ignore these swatches this is always how i come back home after going out shopping <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna continue using this maybe i'll try a few different primers see if i can combat the kind of dryness that i had in the beginning this is a win guys i'm super duper happy so that is it for this foundation review i hope it helped someone out there these are one of my favorite videos to do i have a full playlist of trying foundations out if you are interested i'll leave it in the little eye for you guys and if you do like videos like this then why not subscribe to my channel because there is a plenty of foundation to try out there. I've just bought the CYO Life Proof. Really excited to try that one out. So for all my future videos and updates, hit the little red subscribe button just down below and also the little bell button right next to it so you get notified of when I upload, which I do every Wednesday and Saturday on my channel. So I'm here twice a week, every week for you guys. If you love foundation reviews and you're searching for that perfect foundation like I am, then leave a little like on the video. That always helps me out because then I know you guys want me to keep trying out things like this. I hope you're having a wonderful day night, afternoon, bubble bath, whatever you are doing. And I hope to see you on the next one. Till then. Bye guys. <laughs> Just breathe. So it's full coverage with no compromise. So you're supposed to be get full compromise. What? <laughs> it has oxygen. It has an in. It has oxygen. Oh my god, I cannot say oxygen. So I'm, I'm not gonna put pumps on my mirror. <laughs> uh, at some point throughout the day, I wipe my nose a little. Look, oh, look at my little tuft. <laughs> oh dear. And if you do like, and if you do like video, and if you do, oh my god, I get words. And if you do like. So yeah, I actually really like this out. Oh.